lovely conditions for the players for the third round of the Aramco Saudi Ladies International presented by PIF, a $5 million event, $750,000 to the winner. And Nicole Brock Estrup hit the front early on day three. That birdie at five, part of a fine start, but she went out in 33, back in 42, and out of the hunt. The 2022 champion, Georgia Hall, though, just about in the mix. She'll start the final round six back after a third day, 69. Leaves her at five under par. A birdie finish from Alessandra Finale, runner-up last week in Kenya. A bogey-free 68. She's also six back going into Sunday. Madden de Roy, winner of the Aramco Team Series Bangkok a couple of years ago, playing in the final group, shot a level par round of 72. So as she was at the start of the day, six under par. Amy Yang played some lovely shots down the stretch, including this one at 18. It set up the world number 15 for a birdie finish and a round of 70. She won the last event of 2022 on the LPGA Tour and very much in the mix here, as is Charlie Hull, who's recovered from an opening day 74, 67 yesterday, 68 today for a player who had five runner-up finishes last year, including at two majors. One of two former winners in the field, Emily Pedersen, the 2020 champion, rolling in one here at 14, on her way to a bogey-free round of 66. So she'll start four back at seven under par, as will Esther Henselite, the Ladies European Tour number one of 2019, with the round of the day, thanks to shots like this one at the par five 15th. 65 from Henselite, she's at eight under par, but out in front as she has been at the end of days one and two is Patty Tavatanakit. She did momentarily lose the lead on the front nine, but got it back with that birdie at the ninth. The 2021 Chevron Championship winner had a few near misses down the stretch, but rolled this one at 15 in on her way to a round of 69. 11 under par, Patty Tavatanakit with a three shot lead over Esther Henselite, but a lot of the big name players lurking, ready to pounce.